Hello again. Uh, so, continuing with the theme of bypass tools that we were t uh, we've been talking about, we have uh, the Peterson uh, American Lock bypass tool. Now, mine does have quite a lot of wear in wear in it. Normally, when it comes to you, it won't have that little kink in the shaft there, but uh, that curve in the tip is supposed to be there. So you'll see it's like a little bit of a flag bending very slightly. That is to help you get this tool past the warding on this keyway. Uh, now, American lock, uh, like those uh, cheap drugstore locks I was showing you earlier, do have uh, an open keyway. That is, the, the back of uh, this lock cylinder is open. So you can shove tools into the inner workings uh, of the lock, get at them that way. That's how most bypasses work. Um, now, American Lock did uh, a number of years ago when uh, this tool uh, came out and the uh, vulnerability was publicized, uh, inst introduced a, a what they call a blocking wafer, which is a, just a very thin sheet of metal that goes onto the back of the uh, lock cylinder and blocks uh, this tool from uh, getting through it into the actual lock mechanism. So uh, Peterson uh, came out with this set of tools. This is a two-piece wafer breaker kit, they call it. And basically it's just a pair of small metal spikes that uh, you drive in through the keyway and they will actually punch a hole in that little metal wafer. So if we can actually get this to open, I'm going to then show you just how uh, all of this looks on the actual inside. So there we go, we've got this nicely seated and we can, you'll notice we can turn it a little bit further. You're gonna feel a change in the resistance as you turn it and you're just gonna twist and there we go. It does take a bit of force, so you do want to be careful, and you want to be able to tell the difference between uh, the resistance that you're going to feel going against the spring of the actuator versus the wall of the cylinder. So there's one open, and again, now I had I had already run the uh, wafer breaker through these locks several times well uh, before I film this, so uh, we're going to be sort of skipping over that bit. But I'm going to, there you go, just to show you that this does work uh, and that there isn't any tampering with them beyond the obvious. I'm gonna reach over here and uh, get my little screwdriver here and we're gonna Reach inside, get at that Phillips screw there. Oh, look, there we go. I'm just gonna get these guys out of the way. So there's the locking plates. There is the lock cylinder, and there's the uh, actuator that you're actually uh, doing. So. When you insert this uh, tool into the lock normally, what happens is it passes through here and eventually makes contact here and it's able to turn and push this aside. So here's the lock cylinder and this just passes through here. And eventually you can see it sort of sliding in through there, wiggling it around, and pops out the other side here. So just gets out here and turns like that. And then if you're lucky, it doesn't get stuck in anything, and you can get it back out. So that's it for the, uh, that's basically how the uh, Peterson American Lock Bypass works. A lot of other companies make them now, but uh, I happen to like Peterson, and, and they uh, do sell these very convenient uh, three-piece kits where you get all of the tools necessary, so you don't have to go around buying them bits and pieces. So, 
that's it for now, and uh, hopefully we'll have some more uh, interesting locks uh, along for you soon. Happy picking!